you so so much for joining me once again here today. We are just Hey, what are you right doing here? Hey, 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 doing an intro. Hush your face. We are hopping right back in uh, to where we left off in the last episode. So you guys just sit back, 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 and relax. And we're jumping right back in. Let's do this. Taylor, what's going on? Man, can you believe this shit? Fucking Captain Curry's got me on guard duty. Don't like, something's gonna happen to the dock around. in the middle yeah. of all this. Yeah, it's a tough job, but I'm sure you got it covered. All right. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's going on with you, man? You got some uh, some saddle sores or something? Need a doc to lube you all up? How's the ear? What? I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, man. I'm feeling no pain, brother. Doc's got me on some oxy. Shit, it's tight. I'm fine, man. I'm fine. <sighs> oh, hey. Uh, I saw the lieutenant earlier. She was trying to get something from the doc. Yeah? Yeah, I thought you'd want to know. All right, well, thanks. See you around, Taylor. Yeah, man. Estarás bien. You'll be fine. Just don't start any bar fights. <laughs> no promises, Doc. You know, me parece... It's, I was thinking it's been a while since I've been in the shit. I'm getting soft. Estoy hablando. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, you're serious. You want to go on a run with me? I used to ride myself before the world went to hell, you know. All right, well, let's go. Corporal. Doc. Going someplace? Coronel, it's been a while since I've been on a run. I was going to go oh, and go. No, no, no. I don't think so. Cor Coronel? No, no I don't entiendo. what I'd do if I lost you. If anything were to happen to you, you can't be replaced. This Sir, I can look out for him. He Dismissed, Corporal. <laughs> Matt, I've been out in the shit before. I understand. But again, if anything were to happen to you, I... I don't know what I'd do if I... I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. How could I live without you? I need to know you can't be replaced. Mission complete. All right. What kept me going? As always, if you are a returning member, returning member, returning member, 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 member of the family, thank you so, so much for being here once again today. If you are brand new, thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoy the content. You are absolutely welcome. Well, that's it. That's as far as I can go. How can I help? You can't unless you have a DNA synthesizer somewhere. No, but uh, there's an auto parts store near Fort Klamath that I could check out. You can't get what I need there. You. How do you think I would learn? I actually think I know where you can get one. Really? Yeah, your old lab, Cloverdale. Okay, yeah, that's great. All we have to do is find a way over the mountains. Yeah, you're right. That would be impossible. Oh my God, you know a way over, don't you? Good, you can take me. Is that an order, Lieutenant? Yes. No, I'm just, I mean, no, it's not an well, order. Which is it? Well, I don't know. Are you going to take me or not? Dress warm, pack light. Hey, Deke. Oh, my God. If you say thank you one more time, I. Let me know when you're ready to go. Going somewhere, Lieutenant? Colonel? Captain? Yes, we're heading out to retrieve a piece of equipment that I need. I see. How's your work progressing? Good. Good. With Deke Corporal St. John's help, I've been able to make some good progress. Thank you for assigning him to my project. Well, Lieutenant Weaver's also been making progress. He says he'll be ready to test his chemical weapon by the end of the week. I heard. Mine will be ready soon. You realize you are more valuable than any piece of equipment. Equipment can be replaced. You cannot. I've been in the ship before, Matt. You know that I can handle myself. Carry on, Lieutenant. Corporal. 
I'd like to see Weaver's equipment right now. I'd like to see what he's doing. I'd like to see how he's done. Let's ride out. Before I get the deal some pass with. What is that all about, anyway? What? All the yes sirs and no sirs and the saluting and the ranks and the uniforms just seems kind of pointless, you know, considering. Hey, you were in the army once. You should know. That was different. How? Oh, there were more people in the world. I don't know. I mean, having a military made more sense. I think it makes more sense now. Why? It's utter fucking chaos out here. We need the order and discipline or we're not going to make it. You know, I've been in plenty of camps that are doing just fine without having a colonel breathing down their necks. You know what's funny? About uniforms and ranks seeming pointless, I mean? No, what? I used to think the same thing about the MC. I mean, you guys had ranks like road captain and president. I mean, you wore badges and patches and, and tats like uniforms. I mean, when you guys used to all ride together, you looked like an army. Well, except for beards and bikes. Now that you mention it, I, I can see your point. You know, I'm actually surprised you weren't wearing the cut when you came into camp. I don't think anything would make you get that up. Even the end of the world. Okay, so my cut, huh? We're gonna have to see if the colonel will let me switch uniforms. You know, there is that. Where are we heading? Diamond Lake. There's an old forest service road that winds around the western base of Mount Tielsen. Okay. Is that here when you came over the pass? Yeah, but the soldiers stationed there were having uh, bear problems. Bear problems? They barely made it out of that. Hey. hey! Shut it off! You're gonna have to turn around, buddy. We got orders to keep anyone from... To keep anyone from what, Corporal? I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't see it was you. It's, it's the Colonel, ma'am. He's given us orders to keep an eye out for anyone going AWOL. Are you accusing me of going AWOL? No, ma'am. Then get out of my way. Corporal, what are you still doing there? Get the hell out of my way. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. Jesus. I'll have to report this. Yeah, you do that. Well, that sounds serious. What do you mean? Well, he said he's going to report you. I mean... How's Matt gonna take that? He's a the colonel will tell him to mind his own fucking business and to never question an officer. Yeah. Don't stand on the tracks when the train's coming through the bus. Oh my god. What's wrong? Nothing. It's just... I mean, the view up here, it, it's incredible. It's freaking uh, Yeah. I guess I just don't see it anymore. I pay attention to it, I mean. How can you not? It's, it's breathtaking. Yeah, the world wakes up, grateful for another dawn. Hey, if you spent all day staring into a microscope, you might appreciate it more. Oh, I appreciate it. You know, being around when the morning comes up is a hell of a lot better than the alternative. I gotta be honest. You know, there were times when I didn't believe that. About, you know, hoping to see another day. Yeah, I know the feeling. What kept you going? I mean, back then. Uh, I, I don't know. Just, uh... Goddamn stubborn to give up, I think. I don't believe you. I did give up, Sarah. I did. And then I, I don't know. Boozer's arm got fucked up. And I had to. I, I, I mean, I wasn't gonna let him die, you know, so watching him struggle to keep going when he had no reason, no fucking reason at all. I guess I didn't wanna. I didn't wanna let him down. So I, I didn't wanna go out that way. And then I found out that that you were still alive in that. That's that's when I really wanted to. That's when I really wanted to kill myself. Yeah, right. No, seriously. But uh, then I remembered you still had my mongrel's ring, and that's that's what kept me going. Figured I'd look you up, get it back. You know how that turned out. Shit. Exactly. Things are gonna get better. You know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can win this thing, Deacon. We can. Are you trying to convince me or you? Quick shout out to Lau and Jimmy and Bo just commented on the channel. We must be getting close, right? 
Yeah, we're coming up on the Tielsen Tunnel. Wow, I kind of like ASMR way to play games. Wow, Jimmy Mama did. Thank you, Wow, Jimmy. I appreciate that. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you. Thank you. that out of the way my god what the hell is that that is a sigil it's a warning yes. sign from the rippers what's a ripper rippers rest in peace they were a cult they <sighs> cut themselves they worshiped the freaks they wanted to be like them and um <laughs> you could see what happened if you didn't want to be like them. how do we do it though if we run into them we ain't gonna run into them You can help me move this or what? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I, uh, I took care of that infestation already. <laughs> right north of Duke, the Cloverdale. Okay, we're getting back on the bike now. God. Snow on video games is always so aesthetically pleasing to the eyeballs. Sarah, hurry up. Okay, hang on. This is gonna be a tight squeeze. Jesus. No wonder everyone gave up their cars. This is nothing. There's a tunnel up in the old Belknap Road that Boozer and I rode through all the time. Traffic had been backed up at a narrow checkpoint for about a mile when everything got overrun. Sounds horrible. I seem worse, but yeah. Hey, this looks familiar. Yeah, yeah, it's right up here. Cloverdale, lately. Let's go. Wow. I never thought I'd see this place again. Okay, all right, the power's still on. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. There's a solar ad in the main man. rooftop. I think I also heard rumors about a nuclear powered generator, but I never saw it. Okay, well, how the hell are we gonna get in? Yeah, I'll show you. Like you said, power's still on, right? Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Well, you guys are a little more high-tech than I remember. It's not really that impressive. Aerie's not intelligent. She's like a souped-up smartphone app. It's Aerie. Artificial intelligence response interface. <clears throat> oh, my God. What is it? Nothing. It's... What the hell? Look at this. There's so much food here. Sarah, this should be... It, it, it's the irrigation system. It's all self-automated. So as long as the power's on, this is self-sustaining. Oh, wow. Well, shit. This place has everything. It's got food. It's got water. It's got power. It's got a big fucking fence. I'm surprised no one is uh, camped out here. Well, it's like you said. The power's still on. That's 8,000 volts telling everyone to keep the fuck out. <gasps> See? Come on.
close. Goddamn close. They're infected. That's what's made them so hyper-aggressive. Makes them a pain in my ass. I think we should be okay as long as we're quiet. This is the quiet okay. game, baby. Come on. Hi. I'm as quiet as they come. Let's go. What the hell happened here? I don't know. Oh, they probably got back to do that. Yeah, well, Sarah. These uh these people all worked here, right? Did you know them? Yeah. Yeah, I knew him. Let's go, come on. Now they're just somebody that I used to know somebody. So someone shot them all as they were what? Trying to leave? I mean, yeah, it looks like it. And then they just locked the place up tight and they left. Why would they do that? I don't know, DJ. I don't know, I wasn't here. fields. I was gonna make a joke, but I'm afraid it was too corny. Alright, enough of this, let's move on. I'm supposed to be following this. I don't know. Guess not. Let's get in the building. I'm not leaving the mission zone. You are leaving the mission zone. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Shit. This one's not working. Come on, there's another one over here. Can I just shoot the glass? I guess that would attract. <sighs> so, okay, so why is, um, what'd you call it, Airy? Why is Airy working at the front gate and not the front door? Honestly, I'm surprised she's working at all. I remember the guys in the IT department constantly complaining about the system going down, and... That was with weekly maintenance. And <laughs> now it's been, what, two years? Oh, I can't move on. I wanted to kick up the leaves. I want to dive in them like when I was a kid. When I was a kid, just a few short years ago. Damn it, I, I don't understand why these aren't working. Hey, sir, what? you know how you just said that no one could get in here? Yeah? Why? Maybe they're already here. <gasps> Motherfucker. My God, you're right. They've locked me out. Hey! Hey, let us in! We're not here to hurt you, and we're not here to stay! Oh, God, let us in! Is there another way in? Yeah. Yeah, I got an idea. Come on. There's a fire escape in the back of the maintenance building. But why won't they have that locked out, too? We don't know that they've locked out anything. I mean, it's probably just a glitch. The emergency exits can't be locked out. They're part of Cloverdale's safety protocol. Here, this is it. I just have to figure out how to get up there. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I can shoot the latch. Good shot. One step Done that before? Ma'am. Yeah, once or twice. All right, ladies first. Okay, maybe not. I guess I'll go first. I am a gentleman, usually, but uh, I guess the game's gonna have me go. I don't know about this. Why don't you let me go in first? I, I don't know what happened back there in the parking lot, but I'm telling you, there's no way anyone could have gotten in past this fence. I know these people, and if Jim's in there, he's gonna let Jim, us in. Jim? 
Jim the Renicop Jim? <sighs> Jim, who almost shot me when I tried to pick you Deacon, up. Deacon, that was so long ago, and a lot's changed since then. <sighs> yeah, not for the better. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Good afternoon, Sarah Irene Whitaker. Welcome back to Cloverdale Research Iron Butte Facility. It has been seven minutes since your last login. Please wait. See, I told you. Those other doors must have been bugged or something. Ready? Mother fucking. You were saying? Yeah. This world is not one thing. Trust no one, expect the worst. I'm beginning to see your point on that. Alert. Yeah, give me cover. Right Do whatever you can. Oh, 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 oh. I'll signal you when it's clear. Hey, if you get a clear shot, will you shoot those goddamn speakers? Voice is driving me fucking crazy. I'm with you there. Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. It's clear. Coming. Something out of this. Make something out of nothing, baby. Security personnel to the maintenance building. Fucked. Can I shoot the lock off? Sure can. Nice. Weapon storage? It looks like Jim was stuck enough. Whitaker, ID 2007659. Sarah Irene Whitaker. Security has been breached. The Cloverdale facility is in lockdown. Repeat. Override. ID 2007659. Override. Security protocol Alpha 761 has been overridden. Oh, God, shut the fuck up already. Alert. They must not have locked out inner security. You ready? Yeah, this time? Let me go in first. Hey. This time, we go in together. Where'd you come from? Alert. Alert. This is a level four alarm. Shit. Snipers. Snipers. I see him. Security override and disable the fucking voice response. Alert. Alert. 
Same here. Let's try the door. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Security override and disable the fucking voice response. Access denied. Sarah Irene Whitaker, your security clearance has been revoked. Please see an IT administrator for assistance. Well, that's fucking money. bitch! Alert. Hey, hey! Alert. Don't have to be rid of the scratch anyway. Call. Every gun on the other side Please of that door is aimed right Stand here. We need a better plan. Call. Oh, yeah, you got one? Uh, well, maybe. Uh, like, is there a way to that rooftop? Alert. Alert. This Over is here. a level four alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Security personnel to the maintenance There's a ledge building. out here. You should be able to climb up to the roof from that AC unit. You mean you should be able to climb up from there? Listen, I want you to go up there, lay down suppressing fire, keep their attention. When they're all looking up, I'm gonna go in from here, I'm gonna take it by surprise. Okay, yeah, that's a really good plan. But uh, there's, uh, there's one problem with it. What's that? The door's locked out, remember? Huh, shit. Come on, come on, I have an idea. What? Alert, alert. 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Stand down. I doubt the police are on their way, ma'am. Shut up. Alert. Alert. This is a level four alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Security personnel... Put your hand on that reader. Wait, what are you doing? Yes, I'm in. Okay, they locked out security, but they forgot the admin codes. From this station, I can get you a temporary access code. All right, here's your ID code. Ready? Uh, yeah. Your full name and ID 5429009. You got that? Uh, 5429009. Uh, is that right? Yeah, let's go. 54290. Alert. Alert. 9190. Alright, I'm Miss Whitaker. Here, Okay, hold on. That's why I'm, that's why I'm already on the... Ready? Yep. <clears throat> you got it? <clears throat> yeah. Wait until I get their attention. Hey, don't take any chances. <laughs> you kidding me? That's an order, Missy. These days, that's all I do. Okay, go. St. John, ID 54290. Tell your men to stand down! St. John, welcome to Cloverdale Search Iron Facility. This is your first login. Please disable voices. Come on! Get her! Damn it, Jim, listen to me! Okay, here we go. Ah! What the hell with you? You should have left when you had the chance! I got it! Come on! I got you now. 
said hands all right all right just just tell me what you want okay all right he's clean we were just defending ourselves Get down there all the dead people outside jim you know the ones you shot in the head i don't know what you're talking about <laughs> I mean, what was it, huh? What were they trying to do? Get home to their families, maybe bring them back here? But you didn't want that, did you? We just couldn't take the risk. <laughs> Not having all that family shit in my bachelor's brand. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I can't. Don't make me. Jim, I'm gonna count to three. No, 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 no. One. You don't understand. Two. Look, don't do this. Three. Open the goddamn door. All right, all right. Should've been a kneecap. Let him know you mean business. I hope you know what you're doing. Thank I never you, Jim. do. Yes, I we never, know what we're doing. I... okay. Are you sure? You don't have I to think, do this. I think I'm just winking it at this point. Let me go. I'm sorry. We just can't take the risk. Jesus. Come on. I want to get the hell out of here. should have seen it when we first went in. I mean, we used to grow wild ginger and, and grapefruit here. And then all of this changed. They sealed everything off. They took away my clearance. God, David kept telling me. He kept telling me that something was wrong. Okay, okay. Who's, who's David? So David Gorman. He was this research intern. You know what I said? I told him that we're a farm and we're, we're high tech and all that shit and that there are billions of dollars at stake and to just leave it alone. Then he didn't listen. He hacked the system, he got behind the firewall, he told me that this was some sort of classified project or something. I don't classified know. project, just he slow wanted, down. And... He wanted to be the next Edward Snowden. You see, he wanted to blow the lid off of this entire thing. David Gorman exposes the evil empire and saves the world and all that shit and I didn't listen to him Deacon I told him that he was being paranoid and he must have broken in here and then gotten some sample of whatever the hell they were cooking in here I don't, I don't understand what he mean I pieced it together myself a little while later the night that I was stabbed I, 
I went to the Cloverdale office in the farewell, and I went to, to go try and find David, but he was already gone. He'd been gone for two weeks. There was this big green expo in Portland. He must have gone to see a reporter. He was probably infected, and he didn't even know it yet. And two days later, two days later, everybody at that conference was infected, and then they all got on planes and they went home. And a week later, two and a half billion people were dead. Sarah, this isn't, this couldn't be your fault. I mean, you couldn't have stopped them. You How don't could you understand. Have stopped it's, it's the research. My research was a part of this. Deacon, I was a part of this. They, they used me. <laughs> Those <laughs> bastards. <laughs> Uh, hold on for a second. that? Uh, the electric fences, how would I turn them off? Uh, Crazy. The power relays are in a building by the greenhouse is why. Okay, um, it's just that there's a lot of food here, and I was thinking about radioing Boozer, letting him and Ricky know, letting Lost Lake Camp know. Do you think he could load that up? Yeah, sure. Okay, um, I'm gonna be right there. Okay. Burn, you little bastards. Where's the other next? Where's the other nest? Guys. Don't know what to see. No, I just gotta jimmy that door. That did it. And off he goes to the door. That should do it. Anything in here? Nope. Uh, Boozer, it's, it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp, is anyone there? Deke? Deke, is that you? Yeah, Boozer, it's me. Hey, it is good to hear from you, brother. Good to hear from you, too. Listen, I don't, I got a lot of time. Uh, the, the research facility that Sarah used to work at, the one near Iron Butte, the one near the Ripper, you know the one that I'm talking about, right? So listen, there's food here. Lots of food, corn, so tell Ricky, tell Iron Mike, tell him to send someone. Wait, you found her? What, you found Sarah? Yeah, I found her. It was man, I found her. That is <laughs> awesome, Dick! When are you bringing her back, what, to Lost Lake? No, I'm not gonna get into that right now. Boozer.
Lost Lake Camp, come in. God damn it. Uh, Lost Lake, come in. Ricky. Okay, good. Listen up. Uh, D? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Uh, listen, there's a... I don't think we hear from you again. Iron Lake said you weren't coming back. Uh, look, I don't have a lot of time. Listen, there's this... Did you find her? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I found her. Ricky? I'm glad, Deke. You were right. We made it. I'm glad she did, too. Yeah, okay, listen, there's this farm, okay? Uh, there's uh, power, it's got electrical fences. Electric fences, okay. And if you come here, it, ask Boozer. It's where Sarah used to work uh, by Iron Butte. He's gonna know the place. You come over here, you're gonna find food. You're gonna find lots of food. <laughs> okay. Oh, how's he doing? Oh, um, good, good. You'll never believe who Iron Mike made head of security. Are you kidding? <laughs> wow, that's great. Um, <laughs> could you tell... You know what? Listen, I gotta go. Ricky. But you know what? Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Ah, uh, that thing you said about uh, lighting a candle. I think maybe you were right. I know. Ricky out. Bye, Ricky. <laughs> Saint John, this is Curry. Where are you? One of my men reported that you went through his checkpoint at the Tielsen Pass. Yeah, Captain. Uh, there's a research facility in Iron Butte. It's, um, it's like Sarah, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker said, there's an important piece of equipment that she needed. And this was where... And this was the only place that she could get it. She's not answering her radio. The Colonel wants to know why you're not back yet. Tell him, uh, tell him... Did, uh, you talk to him? His tits. To Boozer? Take a chill pill. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I told him that you're fine and we're fine and that uh, I had to get moving because we have to try to make it over the pass before the weather turns. What do you think? I don't know. It doesn't look good. But it's worth a try, so, uh... Let's get moving. <laughs> it's clear. Come out and eat something? Yeah, just a second. Everything I had is soaking wet. warm again. Yeah. <clears throat> um, did you want to eat something or? Yeah. Yeah. Shot that guy right in the face, bro. I can't, I can't forget about it. Good freaking savage.
the most delightful music it's played in the entire game. John, come in. This is Corporal St. John. Uh, what's up, Captain? I need you to head back to command. Stat. Meet me at the infirmary. The infirmary? What's wrong? There's been an incident. I'm on my way. Okay, what the hell? Uh, Lieutenant Whitaker, uh, are you there? Sarah? Come in. Sarah?